Hey guys, uh, I know I haven't done a YouTube video in quite a while, but this time I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make comic books on the iPad. Yeah, that's pretty much what I do on the iPad. And uh, I use uh, different types of apps in order to create comic books. What? And uh, the apps that I use are called Sketchbook Pro, um, Photoshop, whenever it's ne necessary. And, uh, and sometimes I'll use uh, another app called uh, uh, Procreate. Yeah, in order to create more special effects to the picture. Whenever I don't really use uh, Photoshop. But, yeah. So... Uh, the main tool that I use to draw stuff on the iPad in order to create comic books is this. Yeah, this is a stylus and it is called the Adonit Jot Touch. Um, what it does is that it, the iPad basically senses its pressure. It's got a little uh, pressure point right here on the tip and it's got the little clear plastic disc for precision and accuracy. And uh, when you press down on it when you're drawing, uh, the, uh, the line kind of bolds and widens up. Yeah, the size pretty much gets bigger. But yeah, that's basically the tool that I use for drawing on the iPad. Now, let me uh, re redirect your attention to my iPad to show you the apps that I use. Okay. Now, let me show you the apps that I actually use. Uh, here, we got uh, Sketchbook and uh, Procreate. And uh, also Photoshop Touch whenever I want to add those extra details. Now, what I mostly use is Sketchbook. Now, let me just open that up. And uh, this is basically the work that I put into in the past. Um, and this is this is what I'm currently working on and uh, I'll show you the drawing process so yeah when I open a project up in sketchbook I usually start off with two layers one for the sketching the other for the inking uh, with the sketching you first draw in a, a basic skeletal structure if you are yeah you basically start off with a skeletal structure for anything. And you basically have to use geometric shapes in order to create, well, anything. Because, and right now I'm adding contrast to the second layer. That's what the inking process is for. To add contrast, uh, to make it look more bold, more dramatic, and What's interesting about the inking process is that you can sometimes add in a little more detail. Like right now, uh, I didn't really add much detail to the first layer. I probably should have in order to get a better basis, but I didn't, so oh well. And uh, I try to be anatomically correct when drawing humanoids or anything of that nature. So... Yeah, and uh, drawing on the iPad is not really an easy task, though. you got to get used to it. Heck, when I first started drawing on the iPad, I I really had to uh, practice. I mean, I mean, and that goes for every aspect of art. you just got to keep on practicing and uh, repeat after... Yeah, you basically repeat yourself after one time, and uh, you that's how you hone your skills. Yeah, practice makes perfect. The biggest challenge for me is the hands and the face. Uh, I, I pretty much have the hang of it, but I, I want to do I want to do better with it. Like I want to hone my skills even more. I want to make it look more realistic. And on the face, the hardest part for me to draw is the lips because when I'm inking, I wouldn't want it to look too bold. Otherwise, it's gonna not gonna look right. Yeah, I have to erase some parts of it and make it look less bold so that it looks more 
it looks more natural. But, but, I'm sure that I'll be able to hone my skills there. And, uh, yeah, that's basically what I do for Sketchbook. In addition to that, I use another app, and it is called Strip Design. This is an app where you can actually create comics. Uh, some of you guys may have heard of this, some of you may haven't. But, in, uh, to describe it, uh, you can pretty much uh, take a bunch of old pictures from your phone or iPad and put it together to form a story. And you could even add captions, word balloons, and you can even edit the pictures themselves by putting in filters to make it look more graphic. Uh, to make it look more printed or unique. Okay, so uh, here is strip design. Let me add in a new page. Uh, you can pretty much add stuff from your photo album. Uh, you can like take a picture of something. You can take pictures from Facebook or from your Dropbox. And uh, with the page itself, you can create a new header. Like I mean, uh, not a new header, I'm sorry. You can create a new layout by choosing any one of these. Right now I'm on letter. And uh, I'm going to remove the header and the footer. And, uh, you know what, let's give it three rows with two, with two columns. There you got six panels. And, okay. So, and with this you can add a photo here. I'm gonna take something. And yeah, I'm gonna choose this picture. And, uh, you can, uh manipulate it however you want. Uh, this is a drawing that I did with Sketchbook and edited with Photoshop. And uh, you can unlock this. Uh, you can uh, manipulate the panel itself however you feel like. Uh, I'm gonna keep it locked. And uh, you can even add a filter. Uh, let's go with Sharpen. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it sort of sharp, it sort of sharpens. Uh, it may not be showing up on the camera, but you can also add half tones. Um, yeah, and you can even change the style of it, and so on and so on. And this is pretty much what you can do with strip design. So yeah, I pretty much draw a bunch of pictures and put it together in strip design. And that pretty much sums up how you create comics on the iPad. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'm going to be making more. And stick around. Please subscribe.